Hello and welcome to Robbie Laws Explained. Today we're going to look at the lineout. To begin with, the lineout must be formed correctly. This requires the attack to set the maximum number of players in the lineout, and for both sets of players to maintain a 1 meter gap until the ball is thrown in. In this case, we can see the blue team is sanctioned for closing the gap. The lineup commences once the ball is thrown in. To ensure a fair contest, the ball must be thrown in correctly. Here we can see the throw is not straight, resulting in a scrum or lineout option to the opposition. During a lineout, any player in the lineout may compete for possession. However, as in this case, it is illegal to grasp an opponent in the air. This is not only to ensure a fair contest, but also to ensure player safety. Finally, the lineout ends successfully when the ball or a player in possession of the ball enters the area between the 5 meter line and the touch line, goes beyond the 15 meter line, or as seen here, simply leaves the lineout.